The overall goal of this procedure is to measure absolute quantum yield of powder samples using a calibrated Hitachi F7000 fluorescent spectrophotometer. The first step of the procedure is to collect the integrating sphere correction factors to account for the reflectivity of the integrating sphere used for the measurements. The next step is to measure the reference and the sample. Then, direct and indirect excitation measurements are used to calculate the corrected quantum yield. Additionally, chromaticity coordinates are calculated using the fluorescence emission data for the sample. Ultimately, the calculated quantum yield measurements are in accordance to other published data. Relative quantum yield measurements depend on the selection of a reliable standard. Unfortunately, to date there are no quantum yield standards available for powder samples. The calorimetric method, where absolute energy yields are obtained from temperature changes during irradiation, is based on the simple concept of comparing the increase in temperature of an irradiated luminescent sample against the increase in temperature of a non-luminescent material of similar optical density. The absorbed energy is calculated from the ratio of the changes in temperature of the two samples. Then a formula is applied to calculate the quantum yield. The calorimetric method does not take into consideration energy reabsorption by the sample and depends on the accuracy of the temperature measurement, which is usually low. These limitations can be overcome by using a well-designed fluorescence quantum yield measurement system and taking measurements of the spectral distribution, including both the excitation and emission regions. With these refinements in place, this method becomes valuable as a way to confirm quantum yield readings obtained using other techniques. This video features a Hitachi F7000 fluorescent spectrophotometer equipped with the quantum yield measuring accessory and report generator program. The F7000 is equipped with a high sensitivity.